Dan Senor was a senior advisor to Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan during the 2012 campaign. He joins us now. Dan, good morning. Good morning. After Trump's comments yesterday, you now have the top Republicans, Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell, agreeing with Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton about his comments on Muslims. Right. So obviously what he said about a Muslim ban, effectively what's a religious test for entering this country, is unconstitutional, it's abhorrent, everything about it is uh, reprehensible. But as a political matter, at this is the point at which Donald Trump should be unifying the party. And you have two trends or two events going on. Event number one is a bunch of polls, the CBS and Bloomberg poll in particular coming out showing that the gap is widening between Hillary and Obama, I mean Hillary and Trump. And secondly, you have these crazy inflammatory divisive things he's saying that is giving Republican leaders pause about unifying. So bad polls and inflammatory rhetoric is a bad way to unify yeah. your party on the eve of a convention. And giving Republican candidates for the Senate and governor pause, too. Right. right, because they are very concerned. I mean, obviously, in principle, they're against what he's saying. And the collateral damage to Senate and House races right down the ballot now, they're more and more concerned here, more and more Republican leaders say, saying we could lose eight or nine Senate seats, our House majority could be shrunk to, you know, a hair. I mean, we could just, the Republican Party could get wiped out. That's when he had talked about a, Mus uh, a Muslim ban, as you suggested. When he says, as you just said, that there is a radical Islamic terrorism problem in the United States, is that, what is the Republican Party's response to that use of language by Donald Trump? Well, the, the, the idea that, that p political leaders in the moment of this crisis, a terrorist crisis, should be more precise about identifying the threat that we're dealing with specifically a ra radical Islamic terrorist threat. People, m Americans across the political spectrum, I just don't think the right, uh, sympathize with that. They think that's a legitimate point. Mm -hmm. But that cannot be the sole basis of your critique of the president's response to Orlando. Exactly. There's got to be something more comprehensive. And the only other piece that he adds to his you know, set of prescriptions is this Muslim ban, which like, Republican leaders are against. So, Dan, yeah, let me ask you a straight political question here. You have the Judge Curiel comment, you have his response, Trump's response to Orlando, and now you have Trump saying that Iraq uh, soldiers, soldiers in Iraq stole from the recovery fund. Right. My sense is that Republican leaders, people you talk to every day, are more pessimistic about Trump's prospects than they've ever been. So, is there now a renewed uh, push to try to maybe dump him at the convention? So there are two, there are two uh, tracks being discussed. One track continues to be a, a potential independent candidacy, which is very hard and very narrow at this point. The other thing being talked about is whether or not some rules could be amended to actually force a real convention fight to replace him. It's a long shot. I don't know if it will happen, but more and more you hear Republicans saying that the system, the, Repu the establishment, the system, the whole machine supporting the Republican mm -hmm. ticket can't sustain another couple weeks like these last couple weeks. Dan Senor, great to see you. Good to be with you.